Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where we are back on the 78 Hot Rod Nova. Uh, got some parts in, decided to uh, go a little farther with it. Uh, had a few offers on it, I think the highest was like 3100 and uh, I just spent bunch of money on it about 500 bucks worth of stuff some of it I could reuse for another project some I can't so uh, it's got to be up about 3500 at this moment uh, okay so last episode we uh, used some phosphoric acid and uh, took the sanded and then took the rust off of the acid on the uh, hood and the deck lid primed it okay so we got some parts in and we're gonna mainly the taillights taillights came in directly from China uh, but ones broke they come in this flimsy little cardboard thing in, in that uh, plastic bag yeah just shitty uh, so these are the lights now And this is the one that's broke right here. I just, I messaged the seller. Well, it's actually bent there too, isn't it? But I think what we're gonna do is put it on anyway. Uh, I waited, I don't know how long it's been, three weeks or something for these friggin' taillights. Um, thinking about bending it back and putting in some uh, crazy glue epoxy or something for now and we can uh, customize it in there to fit and then we c if, if I get another set then we can just unscrew it and put in another one uh, yeah we're gonna have to rewire it at all but um, so yeah I'm just ready to put them in I mean been been a long time so anyway, emailed the seller and uh, said, hey, waited all this time. They come in a flimsy package and one was broken. And then they just says, oh, just one broken. And uh, is it going to affect the oper operation of it? And I said, yeah, it's cracked. It's going to let in water. And Okay, so I don't know. I could order another set of different style for higher money uh, that's that's already here in the US so that's kind of we just put that down there a little bit that's kind of how it would look there could put it to the left middle to the right probably put it that way I don't know I don't know how it would look centered they look better more this way so we'll wire them up and see how they work uh, as I said, I'd bought these ones here, basically trailer type LEDs, and wired them in there, and they work. Uh, but I didn't really want the round ones. I mean, I could. I could put them in since this one broke. But, so basically what we're going to have to do is uh, get a piece of metal 
See, I don't want to take any of this stuff, this plastic. See, it's all about to crumble. And stuff so <laughs> we're gonna get a piece of metal and put it in here and I'm thinking and this is all this has all been bashed in or something it's all friggin we're gonna have to dolly that out straighten that out and uh, do some bondo work there uh, this looked like this lip here is bent in a little bit right pull that out So put in a, a piece of metal there, covering up these holes. And I'm thinking instead of welding and bondo, if I can get the metal just right, uh, just put it just below this, these holes here, and just put in some rivets. Give it a kind of an, an industrial look. Although we're gonna have to put bondo here. Uh, because, you know, they, these aren't factory looking or anything. And why we're doing this is because you, you can't, you can get the regular Nova tail lights, which are only two of these. I'll, I'll show you on, on my other Nova. Uh, they're $199 a set. So it's 400 bucks to do both sides. That's new lenses and housing. I think it's the new chrome uh, but this side was completely missing except for the back housing part which is all busted up uh, but the lens and the chrome is gone whoever owned this must have sold it and you can only find them used because these these three are for the custom concourse editions regular Nova like I said it's got two uh, so yeah I could block off an area in the piece of metal and do the just the two uh, but like I said they're 199 a set each so that's 400 bucks uh, you can find a, a used one housing and everything like this one guy's got one 450 bucks or 475 bucks on eBay it's ridiculous. I'm not paying it. These lights here were 22 bucks. I think it was 20, a little bit over that for tax. 22, 24 bucks. So that's what we're going to do. And these were the only ones that I could find. There was other square, uh, rectangular ones like this. Like I said, I, I might order a set uh, that can be here in three, four, five days instead of uh, instead of. Uh, waiting on another set for you know a month or eight weeks or whatever the hell it took to get here but one thing I know is we got to block this off so that's what we're going to get started with and then we'll probably just hook these lights up just to see how they are and if uh, uh, we get another set of lights then we can just fill in these little holes that we got to drill here just fill them in if they mount differently which they probably will so yeah I have to find a junk car out here with some flat metal and uh, cut it into shape cut two of them identical take this light out and do that okay so that's what mainly we're going to do on this video now i got some other little stuff in uh this is the spare tire hold down just got that off uh, ebay that goes that little hook there hooks into there comes up and you put this on the center here and tie it down so we're going to put that on there just get this out of the way mounted uh there was no trunk trunk lock on this thing and this is the one out the 77 Malibu but I can't get the, it, the thing turns about a quarter turn and I I, I, it, I don't know I thought it worked on the other Malibu parts car but 
uh, no matter what I did, I couldn't get the damn thing to work. So uh, I bought a just a lock set that they weren't very much. It was like under 20 bucks. So we got a trunk and two door locks for this car. I'm not going to put the door locks on right now. Uh, so we'll have one key for, for all of it. So we're going to put the trunk one on because I'm tired of using the uh, screwdriver here fumbling fumbling around trying to find the hole and especially in the dark okay so we're gonna we're gonna put this on this on uh the license plate light that's another thing that was missing i i think the guy must have started parting this car out or something and i think they were like 32 bucks or something and i looked around my junk cars and uh, they're off a of Hyundai Santa Fe uh, and it'll just about almost fit there this may have to drill one hole so we're going to put that on there I actually took both off had two of them so we'll, we'll put them in there okay those three things, we'll put them in there first, and then we'll get to these taillights. Like I said, I could use these round ones, but build something to mount them in there. But I think the square ones just look better. But And I, I bought four of these, or uh, two sets of two. You got them two. those two and I got another set but I think the square ones would look better okay let me get started on this little stuff and uh, I'll be back okay guys I got a junk hood from a, one of my junk vehicles gonna measure out uh, two squares and cut them 20 and a half by 5 so I'm gonna measure out two flat pieces and uh, Cut them with the, uh, wherever my cutting wheel went. Okay, let me cut them out. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I cut two pieces out. Uh, sanded down this edge. This will go on the back. And this will be showing because we got to drill holes, rivet, prime, paint any, any, anyway. So it'll just leave the paint coating on the back end so we don't have to prep that too much okay let me pull the car around get the back end facing in here and we'll fit these up there i'll show you okay guys i put that door lock in or the uh, trunk lock i have the new door locks but the uh key i have keys that will actually fit these locks so when we get around to do, doing the door panels or his interior work, if I get that far, then I'll change them over just so you have one key for the door, doors and trunk instead of two. Okay, uh, got the uh, license plate light on there. Uh, got the uh, spare tire hole down in there. That's where the spare is supposed to go. Okay, so here's the panels here and they're gonna go on something like that okay and then like I said what I think we're gonna do is just rivet it on there instead of welding it just put uh, rivets Give it an industrial look and it'll be removable. So if somebody buys this car and wants to put these taillights back in, they're going to spend the big bucks getting them. Uh, they can just drill out the rivet holes and then bolt in the uh, housing. Well, they'll have to change over the sockets back over to regular sockets. But, uh, okay, let me. Let me take out this tail light 
and dollied this out here and we may have to grind this out this is all it's all pooched out this way whoever banged it out banged it out too far we're going to dolly that around straight get this straight and this lip here is kind of indented in uh, we'll dolly that out a little bit take out this tail light and uh we'll see where we're at when i get that done so i'll be right back okay guys i got this tail light out put it on ebay for 500 bucks <laughs> uh, it's got some cracked lenses in it so but the uh, housing of it's good okay dollied this out a little bit sprayed some rust neutralizer on there and a little bit of primer here and here sanded this down uh, had to cut this so it's curved right here it went straight up so I marked it curved it so it's even there now marked all these little dots here we're going to uh, drill holes actually a little bit lower about like that kind of even all the way around and then uh, I'm gonna rivet it rivet it in there something like that and then we'll drill holes to mount the light in later okay so let me drill these holes and I'll be back okay guys there's one panel in there and when you close the trunk you can still see the rivets there so it kind of looks I didn't measure them out or nothing to be even uh, okay we'll do the other side not sure whether I want to do the bondo work first I guess I could but uh, now we'll just have to drill some holes for the light Just got to drill a center hole, get the wires through, and then these four to mount it. Probably put it in something like that. Uh, I had this left side hooked up already just to test it. Now, I bought these because it had the orange... Well, not just because, but anyway, this style has the orange signals, and it's kind of cool because uh, one, you hook up, and the signals will just flash all three, right? Click. Uh, the orange wire, if you hook it up, it'll go like the old uh, Cougars, 6869 Cougar XR7s, where it uh, sequential, or whatever it's called. Or this one will light, then that one, then that one real fast. So it looks kind of neat. But here's the problem. The bulbs and everything for this, uh, the electrical for it, uh, doesn't have a separate signal, right? It's hooked up to the brake. Well, you, you, got, you got one wire to just the running lights okay so they'll be like more dimmer and then the other one is the signal and the brake so if you hit the brake then they they go brighter and then if you hit the signal then the uh the red will flash so if you try to hook up the orange you can't you can only hook up the orange to like the uh, brake light so and you can't do it separately to get the orange signal ones here going If you hooked it all up, then they would come on with the brakes So I don't even know if that's legal to have orange light up when you hit the brakes you Know what I mean? So uh, I, I can't hook up the orange ones. I'm just gonna hook up the red ones just the blue blue and the red ones running ones brake signal and then this is reverse light here ground black and then these are the uh, the yellow ones
so we can't hook up the yellow ones uh still haven't heard back from the seller it's been all day now uh whether they're going to send me another one or what but anyway let's drill some holes and melt that in there at least get the holes we're gonna have to prime and paint it first or at least prime it okay i'll be back okay guys there it is in there yeah factory ones look better but what are you going to do? We're trying to save four or five hundred bucks by putting in a, some twenty dollar <laughs> ones. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, it's all we can do. We, we got to get taillights. Can't drive around with one taillight. So that's what we came up with. It can all be undone. Uh... Okay, so let me get started on this other side. May wait till the morning. It's getting I got a late start tonight, so got that side done. We'll do the other side in the morning. Get a little bondo work, then we'll prime it all and flat black it all, and then mount them in there. That's just that's just sitting in there. I just drilled the holes and and wire it up and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's my other 78 Nova. I went over this before, but I still get comments. You see this? You see this trim? Well, this is rubber part of the window thing, but all this trim here, that is not going to be on this car if I take off the... Uh, Somebody called it opera window. So if I take this off, there's not going to be nothing underneath there. And you know what, it's supposed to just take this off and leave it off? I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get why these people, oh, take it off, take it off. <laughs> well, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off because i got to fix this rust. And just to show you these four or five people that there's nothing under there. It's going to look stupid leaving this off. Okay, uh, I take this trim off too. I think there's just a screw there. Uh, this is just a little piece of something. Screw there. Uh, and... got screws in here and then little bondo or something filling in screw holes we'll probably take both of them off see the screw holes here and it should come off uh, there's a little nut on the end of this or on this one take that off then these ones are gonna have little clips underneath there that are screwed on so uh, yeah, I'm going to take them off, and I'll just, just show you, just give you a visual, because I'll still keep getting the comments. Take it off, take it off. So it'll be going back on. Of course, this had a vinyl, half vinyl top. Already uh, ground down the rivets for the moldings here. And then it's got all this, uh, I don't know, it's not really seam sealer. It's something to cover up this seam. And I hate to put Bondo there and have it all crack. So we're going to have to figure out something there. But we're going to have to treat all this rust. All this rust underneath here. And then, uh, then we're going we're gonna to put it back on before we paint it. Because it will look stupid with all the tr all this trim missing. And I don't have it. You know, where, you know uh, probably next time I'll just go down the junkyard and get it. These cars aren't in the junkyard anymore, guys. Uh, uh, I think a lot of you are living in the 80s still, where you think you can just go down to the junkyard and get get fan parts and no, old Nova parts. and No, they're, they're all gone. 
and 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 there if there is any left uh, they're not close to me and it would take a lot of time a lot of driving a lot of gas to go hunting around trying to find little knick-knack pieces and and it just ain't worth my time you know unless something's on ebay i can get it but i'll you know and, and it's cheap enough i'll get it but it's usually stuff on ebay is pretty expensive uh anyway just waiting on let me start doing that just waiting on some bondo to dry here and we'll fix that smooth that out prime it and then put that plate on this side and then we'll uh we'll prime the whole thing and flat black it so i'll be back okay guys got all the screws off see what it looks like There it is. Supposed to drive around looking like that. No trim, no louver. Just leave all this open for the water to get in. I'm just going to have to stop responding to comments. It's just, uh, just can't win. Some of you guys. Okay, I'm going to, uh, clean up all this rust well I got to take this trim off here it's got one screw behind here and uh, grind all this crap off here and then we'll have to uh, seal it up and put it back on because I'm not driving around like that okay I'll be back okay guys I got all this trim off of course more rust holes underneath there there's all the trim up here uh, so I'm going to grind all this off like I said and uh, I think we'll probably well, pour some uh, spray some rust treatment on there and then just probably fill this in with Dynaglass stuff okay I'll be back all right I got the uh, Bondo sanded down put a little bit of primer here we're going to go ahead and gonna go ahead and mount that plate first and then uh, prime this whole area before we mount the lights okay I'll be back okay guys there they are yeah I, I don't really like it it looks doesn't look very good but uh, anyway let me uh, take them out and prime and paint that flat black and I'll be back I'll be grinding some more ground some down on here I'll grind the rest of this down and uh, put some rust treatment on it so I'll be back okay guys cut the window off on this side not as bad as the other but we'll not exactly sure what them holes are for but we'll go ahead and fill them we just need the holes that are to mount that back on and anyway we'll get all the treat all this rust here grind and feather all this crap off here clean it all up okay I'll be back okay guys I put two coats of primer and two coats of flat black that's not the flat black we're gonna use it's actually shiny now it, it should dull out but I'm not sure because I put in some hardener. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, hopefully it'll dull out. I had uh, had just a little bit left of what did I do with it? Of this left matte black. But what we got to paint it is hot rod flat single stage from uh, Summit. But I didn't order, the, you got to order the heart, uh, re, reducer and hardener separate. But I already had a bunch left over. Here's uh, the gloss that we did the 77 Chevelle Arch car with. And uh, I must have had something else because I still got two half cans. Maybe that's, no, that's activator. Activator, I think I used all the reducer. 
Uh, anyway, hopefully that doesn't, usually the hardener says a gloss hardener on it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn gloss. But that's going to get repainted uh, when we paint the whole car. I just want to get some paint on it uh, before I put the lights on. And, uh, and then later on we'll mask up the lights and shoot the whole car. But, okay, so I started grinding down this. Not exactly sure what these holes are for. I was thinking they were drain holes, but I, I don't know. Anyway, we got this hole here to fix. Now, I think I'll just fill these in. Uh, I ground off all the studs for the molding. So it's covered, it's covered from here up. These do get covered. Yeah, I should leave them in there. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to have to get some silicone and reseal these windows before I put them back in. Anyway, I took the grinder to this. We're going to take the DA to it and then put some rust treatment, maybe that phosphoric acid on there. And same with the other side. You can't see that it's, it's all dark right now. I'm going to get a light out over here. Uh, I don't know when this is going to dry. As soon as it dries, we're going to mount the lights in there, wire them up, and uh, see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to do some more sanding and all that stuff on these quarter windows areas. Going to uh, take a DA and uh, get all this caulking. I don't know what the hell they used here. Uh, going to sand all that off. We'll probably just put it in seam sealer, clean it all up nice and neat, and mount it on there and just put a, a thing of seam sealer along there. That's all I can think of to, uh, I don't want to put Bondo, Bondo will crack. But yeah, all this stuff, we're just going to put a bead of silicone on there and put it on when it's ready to go. But yeah, we'll get all this sanded down, all the edges real good, and we'll have to fill in these holes here with Bondo. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got all this ground down. Uh, I'm just going to use some uh, rust neutralizer over this. Rust. And I got the other side. Other side here, too. So let me coat that and uh, probably come back tomorrow morning and put some uh, Dynaglass fiberglass filler over all them holes. I'm not going to bother cutting it out, welding in stuff. Like I said, this is a, just a cheap car. It ain't, it ain't worth the big restoration job. And uh, this stuff's taking a while to dry. It's still, it's still tacky. It's getting all dust in it from... <laughs> me doing all this but uh anyway we'll see you tomorrow okay guys I sprayed some rust treatment on here last night so we got all the rust kind of treated and uh I'm gonna fill in all the holes here I'm just not sure about these ones I'm not sure what they're for uh they may be for a regular the other trim or something on there but I think what I'll do is just fill them in with with uh, silicone when I put the window in I guess there's four of them and we're gonna put some silicone around here anyway so anyway let me fill them in uh, this side I don't think it'll be as bad I'll fill in a little bit here and uh, I'm going to fill in this little molding hole and these ones here in the deck lid. I mean, I could weld them up, but the hell. And then this hole here. And I'm going to use this Bondo glass. It's water, waterproof. Uh, fiberglass reinforced filler. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get that on there. Sand it down. Uh, do a little Bondo work. There's like a little dent right there. 
we'll, on the, the other side, we'll put a skim of Bondo on there to smooth it out, sand it, prime it, and then probably just paint some black or something all in here, and then remount the these deals back on there. Okay? So let me get some fiberglass filler on there, and then we're going to wire up these lights. I ordered another set of lights, a little different style. This seller's going back and forth, back and forth. They offered me 30%. I said, no, I don't want 30% refund. I, you know, I want another light. And uh, they just kept stupid messages back and forth, about 10 of them already. And I finally said, listen, I want another light or a full refund. And then they'll message me, oh, uh, can you take a partial refund? I said, no, I want a full refund or another light <laughs> so we'll we'll see if i order another set that's going to be a little bit different but uh it was only 16 bucks shipped and it's supposed to be here in a few days probably not enough time for this video but anyway i'll be back okay guys i'm going to show you uh a deal a sponsor sent me uh it's a battery tester but it's supposed to be way better than the little cheap, uh, simple ones there. So, those are all the, all the features of it there. It's 99.5% accurate. Uh, I have a cheap one that keeps giving different readings. So, this one here should be better. Uh, user manual, uh, probably not going to read all that right now anyway. Let's, uh, let's hook it up. And see what happens. Oh, I guess it's got its own battery, okay. Let's, uh, let's go to a good battery in the van here and see what it says because I know this battery's good Okay, main menu car. Car. Twelve volt in vehicle battery test. Turn lights on for okay. Don't have all day here, but turn headlights on ten seconds. Okay. And then turn them off. Okay. Regular, I don't know. Regular flooded. SO8 72%, SOC 93%, good battery. Okay, so. It's got other tests on here too. Right here, charging test and cranking test. So I think you can check to see if your alternator's charging and then uh, cranking. Okay, let's turn that off. And let's check out this dead. 
I know this battery's bad. So we'll see what it says on here. It was holding just a little bit of a charge, but I don't even know if it is now. I'm going to have to do something to get them, test them taillights. Okay, car. In vehicle. Battery test. Turn headlights on off for 10 seconds. Yeah, see it says pour, charge it and retest, yeah, no. anyway guys, that's it, check them out, I'll put a link and stuff in the description, and uh, check it out, if you need to, you know, check your charging system and all that stuff. And uh, I said it's got all the all the uh, user manual, all the information in there about how to check everything. Okay. Okay, guys. There's the tail lights. I don't know. I think it looks a little bit better since it's black. Just get a picture of the whole that rubber black and everything. Uh, okay. Four ways. There's the running lights and the four ways on. Not sure why that. A little white one's flashing. Shouldn't be, but. <laughs> okay, I got the key on. And. Uh, when I hit the blinker. Just one side was working before. I hooked up both both of them LED lights, and then the signals don't work. It'll light up, but it won't flash. So I have my little bucket of flashers right here. Got all different kinds. Uh, these are I call these ones the blue ones, and I had one left of the green. Uh, these didn't do anything. Neither did uh, a bunch of yellow ones in there. This one had a yellow one in it. So the green one, see how fast that's flashing? Hey, it works. Still not sure why this. That white one's doing that. Um, okay, so they work. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the four ways is in the fuse block over there. And then this is the, uh, you see the yellow one in there? That was the flasher. I unhooked it and put this green one in there. Green striped. I, there, I know there's at least one more style that I used on the van that was black. I call it black because it had black lettering on it. That might work in this one, but I think it's good enough. I mean, the flashers work, right? So, uh... That's it. Just not sure these are for the reverse. And all I did was just uh, 
tape them up like that. Like I said, I got another set of tail lights coming, uh, so I didn't want to solder them all in there. I'll probably keep these ones on there. And I bought some uh, clear epoxy, and I'm gonna epoxy this crack up a little bit. Yeah, it'll look kind of shitty, but uh, what are you gonna do? And they're actually sold out of these this style here. So, uh, anyway, I got the white is for the reverse. I, I should actually see if that reverse lights work. Let me see here. Should turn on the key. Sometimes you gotta wiggle. Sometimes you gotta wiggle that. Oh, okay, there's reverse lights. They work. Okay. Well, I think that's it, guys, for the uh, tail lights. Yeah, you just got to picture it all black. Yeah, people will come up on the back end of this, and uh, they won't know what kind of car it is. This <laughs> is the tail lights. Although it's supposed to have a Chevrolet emblem there, I believe. Okay, got some. Uh, Dyna glass, Spondo glass, filled in all them holes. Fixing to sand all that. Smooth it out with uh, body filler. Block it down, sand it down, 180. And uh, just prime all this area. And like I said, put some paint in there. So, I'll be back. Okay guys, I got that Bondo glass sanded down. Just gonna put a little skim of Bondo over there finish it off and same on this side a little dent right there okay I'll be back okay guys I got it slicked up with some Bondo and uh, 180 grit well I blocked it with the 180 I didn't DA and feather edge all this because it's gonna have to be all stripped down the metal later on same with well the whole rest of the car <laughs> except for the hood and trunk so anyway this area could put a couple of coats of primer and uh, black paint on it I don't want to open up use the flat black hot rod black so we'll just use some gloss black it's all gonna be hidden anyway we just want to put some uh, uh, some uh, something on there to uh, protect it so it doesn't do this again <laughs> for another 40 years but uh yeah let me put some primer and paint on there and i'll probably wait till the morning to put these back on and like i said we're going to silicone up all the windows and stuff okay i'll be back okay guys put two coats of primer two coats of black on there so uh she's done well, it's kind of dark over here but it's a light right there but it looks dark anyway uh i sanded all the edges of this these panels here uh these are plastic in case people are wondering whether plastic or fiberglass they're it's a hard plastic can tell by the yellow the yellow under here uh, this is pretty thick stuff what they use from the factory to seal that before they put the vinyl top I didn't want to break it all off so I just sanded down the edges edges uh, best I could and then we're just gonna put some seam sealer in there like I said around the edges once it's mounted and fill these in with probably Bondo after I screw it back in. These things were absolutely filthy. Packed with dirt, leaves, everything in both sides. Blew all that out. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna get some butyl or whatever. We're just gonna put a, a skim of uh, 
silicone around there stick it back in there and, and that's it uh, yeah I guess that's it okay well we'll see you tomorrow we'll put these back on there okay guys next morning I uh, screwed all this on there put all silicone around the edges and I just filled up them <laughs> holes there or did oh I forgot to do this side with silicone I did the other side anyway but yeah it doesn't fit there's a pretty good gap right in there that's where that chrome and stuff went right there so anyway I clean this up when I'm ready to paint it like I said we'll just put some bondo in here seam seal around the edges and uh, paint it this had a little metal plate on there that was all warped, wasn't flush. So I took that off. We'll have to fill that in. Uh, but we got a ton more <clears throat> body work to go on this, so we'll, we'll do that on another episode. But yeah, anyway, we got a few little jobs done. Got the taillight panel, the taillights, all the rust repair underneath there. So, uh,. No more comments about am I taking the opera window off. You know, 99% of you guys are, are, are pretty good. I don't mind the comments. But when you get some people that are, take it off, take it off. That's, it's just, bugs me. So anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it, guys. On this, we'll, uh. There is a rust hole down here, right in here. We'll we'll fix that. Bottom of that fender is good. Bottom of the driver's fender's rusted, and then that spot, and actually, right in here, there's some little rust holes. We'll have to take off this trim and uh, fix that. There's probably more in there, and uh, we'll strip this roof. Like we did the hood and the trunk sand it all down it'll take a while and uh, use some of that acid and uh, there's mama cat yeah and we gotta fix uh, I'm thinking about putting that hood trim back on there after I fix this but anyway we gotta fix that rust hole and a little bit of rust on this deck lid right here bang that in put in some dyna glass so yeah let me know on the tail lights i expect some <laughs> comments saying oh they're ugly yeah they probably are oh got a hold of the cellar they i kept saying you know uh another tail light or or a refund and they kept going back and forth back and forth and i finally said uh, how about 65 percent refund so I think I'll do that instead of, uh, you know, I could get 100% by sending them back. Just click, you know, refund uh, or return. But I don't think they'll want them because it come all the way from China and it's broken. So why would they want it back? So I could keep fighting them for 100%, but I'll, I'll just settle on 65%. I'll put a little bit more epoxy on that crack. I don't think it'll leak. And uh, I'll just keep them keep them on there like I said this ain't no concourse restoration uh, but I got those other tail lights for 16 bucks coming we'll see how they are uh, if they look better we'll put them in and use these for something else trailer or something so there, yeah there's that uh, yeah we need to strip all this down the metal uh, Yeah, anyway, ton, a ton more work to it, guys. Uh, I think probably next video we'll be doing some more body work. Uh, I think the mechanical stuff's pretty much done. I got to check stuff. Brakes and everything work, but we got to take off the wheels, check the, check the rotors, the drums, the pads, uh, stuff like that. So... You know, and anytime you do that, you always find some other stuff. So we'll be <laughs> finding other mechanical stuff, I'm sure. Uh, 
But yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty much done. Oh, I got a, I bought five gauge sets. I haven't unboxed them yet. I bought five of them because uh, I put the one in the van. I like it. it has the copper line for the oil and uh, the manual type uh, sender unit, temperature sender instead of uh, wires. So I bought five sets for because I know I, I got a couple other cars I want to put them in anyway. But anyway, we'll put a set in here. Uh, just a little stuff like that, hopefully, mechanic-wise. We got all the all the major stuff done. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think just body work and some other stuff. Not sure what to do about the interior yet. But, okay, guys. Uh, like, share, comment. Uh, and subscribe, bottom right hand corner of the screen, it's free, doesn't cost anything, so uh, thanks everybody for watching, we'll see y'all next video.